It is my pleasure to chair this round table today in honor of Karl Berghoff's impressive new book, Motherland in Danger, from Harvard University Press. Um, I, as Virten uh, said, I'm Karl's uh, colleague from the Neo Institute for War, Holocaust, and Genocide Studies, and I'm a Russianist. Karl Berghoff's first book, Harvest of Despair, was a broad and deep study of the Nazi occupation of Ukraine. Motherland in Danger delves into related themes in unoccupied territory and scrupulously examines the Soviet media's narrative of the war. It raises provocative questions regarding how and what messages were to be conveyed and how they were received by their audience. We have three distinguished speakers today who will reflect on relevant questions from their various areas of expertise. And in alphabetical order, Professor Conrad Dussel from the Department of History at the University of Mannheim. He's a historian who has systematically analyzed the German radio and press. He is author of Deutsche Rundfunkgeschichte and, uh, excuse my German, Deutsche Tagepresse im 19. und 20. Jahrhundert. Uh, Dr. Jeremy Hicks is senior lecturer in Russian at Queen Mary University of London. Uh, his research focuses on visual and film propaganda, and his forthcoming book is entitled The First Films of the Holocaust from the University of Pittsburgh Press. Dr. Eric Van Ray is an assistant professor in the Department of East European Studies at the University of Amsterdam and he's one of the foremost specialists on Stalin. He's a prolific writer and uh, has authored, among others, The Political Thought of Joseph Stalin. So today in our program, um, Karl Berkhoff will say a few words about the book, and then we will move on to uh, the speaker's presentations, as I said, in an alphabetical order. Then Karl will have the opportunity to respond and then we'll turn it over to questions uh, and comments from the audience. And at the end, the formal presentation of the book will go to Professor Hans Blom, historian and former director of the NIOD. So without further ado, I'll give the floor to you.